Look at that. Look at God making making ways. Daddy, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to come and do a little interview with you um, to really just get to know you a little bit more and then talk about um, your drumming and, and how you got into it. I kind of started in church, of course, watching other drummers before me. I kind of got an interest in it. Like, I would come to church with my drumsticks and everything. Wasn't playing anything. I just brought my kicks first. I won't play if I could, but just came from church. What is one quality that you believe got you, got you to where you are today? Being prepared. Um, my first time drumming, literally, like, on the drum set physically, was uh, my church was doing a shut-in. It's like fast. And um, they didn't have a drummer for that night. Somebody came in there and was like, hey, you want to play the drums? I was like, Sure. Walked in there and just started playing. Mm -hmm. Just the moment just kinda happened. I just been playing for the service. It was kinda crazy. What are what are your next steps? What I really want to do is at this point I'm trying to learn new instruments. I'm actually self taught as a drummer, so I'm trying to teach myself how to play the piano. And I wanna go keep play the bass too. So like I wanna get into production and the behind the scenes though. So my job right now, my nine to five, that's kind of fueling that with the money coming in so that I can invest in my craft. What is What has been your biggest failure? One failure, honestly, it's a regret too. Um, I actually was in like a beginner band class. It wasn't really band, but like introduction to music in uh, elementary school. Um, my regret was kind of not being patient. I kind of was like, I was more interested in what I was seeing in church. And like, I didn't want to start from the basics. So I always kind of felt like if I was stuck with what I was going to do in school, I would probably further along than what I am. Is there anything else you want to give to the people? Is there any other, you know, inspiration, little gems you want to drop? I would say to any, like, other musician or drummer that wants to, like, be something, take it seriously, and, you know, make something out of it. Just to stay humble and hungry. It's something I'm taking lead to myself with is, you know, don't compare yourself. Like, don't compare where you are to where somebody else has already been or where they're at now. Because, um, when you make that your ceiling, like you're always competing. You're always trying to, you know, go always make your measuring stick to somebody else. Shout out to my wife, Tyra. I love you. My mom, I love you too. Peace. All right, B Docs out.